good morning to you. God has crowned you with love beyond your power to hold. I know it feels beyond your power to feel it. But that's just a thought. Notice what happens when you stop listening to it. You're still hearing me, but stop listening to me. Listen to God, to God's voice. Listen to the silence. And like it says in Proverbs 18, listen without interrupting, without expecting anything. You just relax into the silence, into the fullness of it. Our true word says, let your striving cease. He is sustainable. He is not exhaustion. He is peace. He is not chaos. He is rest. He is not worry. Take his portion. It's yours. I was in meditation the other night and I kept hearing, only your love is here. Like I was saying it, talking it to God. You can say it like that too, when it feels hard to find or hard to believe. Say it like that now. Only your love is here. And keep saying it like you're having a continual conversation with God. This is how you pray ceaselessly. Mother Angelica says constant prayer is the deep assurance within your heart that God is in charge and that you have no need to worry, that you have no need to fear. St. John of Avila says, I pray God may open your eyes and let you see what hidden treasures he bestows on us in the trials from which the world thinks only to flee. What are you desperately trying to heal, desperately trying to change? The next time that problem appears, whether it's in your mind or in front of you, or you feel it as a symptom in that body, immediately turn towards it without the desire to change it, without any desire, and listen without interrupting. This is his will, not the problem, not that issue, but you finding his love in the problem, in the midst of the issue, not being so caught up or too distracted to remember that he's here. This trial, this cross, wasn't given you for you. It was given to you so that you could help others, but you can't give them what you don't have. You have to find peace now, not later. You have to find it right now in the middle of everything that you're going through. I can remember back in 2017, going through it, and being in the midst of a crying session and feeling as if a door opened and he picked me up again and the tears would stop, but then they'd start again, but they'd be tears of joy, of relief, true vision that I was lost again. And then I stopped needing to get lost. I stopped wandering off. There's nothing, nothing. I can pull me away from his feet. And often I do feel like St. Padre Pio, who says he feels incapable of carrying the weight of this immense love. He says God has been pouring himself completely into this small vessel of the creature that I am. How will I ever be able to contain the infinite inside this small, narrow room of my soul? How can you hold up that crown? You have to sit like you're holding it. You have to sit like it's up there. You have to walk like it's up there. You have to talk like you're balancing it. Elder Thaddeus says, he who has the kingdom of God within himself will imperceptibly pass it on to others. The atmosphere of heaven will radiate from you even when you keep silent or talk about ordinary things. Even when you're upset, it's radiating. Your work, his will, is for you to keep waking up in the upset, in the frustration, in the waiting. He's saying, I love you. Only your love is here. I'm with you. 
and we'll chat soon. If this episode helped you feel good, helped you feel God, then leave a review on Apple Podcasts and screenshot it and send it to me for a free gift. And follow me on Patreon so I can see you, so I can see your smile.